filling up. Trip. Be wild. Look at all this stuff. My racks on there. We're down in Sonoita right now. We're gonna. Uh, we're about 45 miles north of where we want to be in Parker Canyon. 72 degrees. Wind in my face. Beautiful day. Saturday. October 2nd. 15 days I turn 57. Whew. Pasture somewhere where I can hear the crickets again. Let's see, Dakota's taking her boards, so I'm hoping she's doing well there. Hannah had the shot, the vax. She's been sick the last two days. Headache, chills, the whole bit. Anyway. I think she may have to work today, but she's going to Grand Canyon with Jake tomorrow, which is cool. Jake needs to see that before he goes. I'm going to miss him. He's a good boy. Hannah picked a good in there. Who knows? Life has strange circles.
Okay, so we're here um, in Cochise County. We're about three and a half miles north of southern border. Do that way. Um, Parker Canyon's over here. Um, Chicken Mountains, Sierra Vista. Over there, that's where the Army base is. On the side of that. So we'll probably see. So, I'll show you a little bit of, of how I get ready for camping. This is new for me. It's uh, bringing all my gear. It's, it, it takes quite a bit of time to get all your gear up. It doesn't help because i got a sinus infection and a headache like the side of the mountain. But I can't take any more ibuprofen. I've eaten them things like candy. I squirted up my nose. That didn't help. And my nose bleed. Anyway, so I'm going to go around once I get set up and uh, get some firewood and stuff like that. Cool? All right. Okay, here's what the, uh, this is an icon chair. Excuse me, it's an icon chair. And uh, I paid like 25 bucks for it. But these attach to the bottom of it. It's like just plug and place though. You can put a flashlight or cold beer or I don't know. Put it on the ground. Wow. Oh, yeah, they were from uh one was from Albany. Two were from Wisconsin. I think the two were gay for each other. I don't know. They both live in uh Tucson. Uh, one guy had leather pants on. It kind of made me a little willy-nilly. But anyway, they, was, they were nice guys. They gave me some good tips on where to ride, safe places to stay. A lot of them don't. Take two. <laughs> so I met, uh, I stopped in Sonoita to get something to eat. My stomach was kind of bothering me. put my little stove that I bought for $12 together. And it, I, I, bought, I got a bunch of dry candle. And I've got it going. If I would have had that last time we were camping, I wouldn't have had issues with getting that fire started. That started real quick. It did come with a flint, but you know, one of those strikers, but I like my stove. It makes it a lot quicker. So I'll get some coals out of that, and then I'm going to transfer it to that big fire and throw that big log on there right here. I'm going to burn that tonight. That's what I'm talking about, my brothers. It is uh, 5 o'clock. Let's see. 502 and uh man it's just it's just a beautiful evening i'm telling you got this little fire by my feet throws enough heat to keep me warm 
It's a little chilly right now. I'd say it's, I'd say it's in the low 70s. Uh, just sitting here listening to some music. That's it's been a good time. I'll tell you. We're just chilling. Got me a little fire. See, it's, not, it's got a good flame, so I can, when it gets those coals going, I can transfer it. I'll pick it up with sticks. Take it over that big one there. And then we're going to put that, I'll put that log on there. That's cool. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. something ain't right. Oh, that good flame. Here's my little camp here. I'm in the Sonoran Desert right now. It's pretty green. My tent. I'll tell you, I've had that tent 15 years, but man. Every time I think I knew one, I think, you know what? She's still good. But she don't take but five minutes to put up. So, yeah, that's Mexico way down there. Yeah, it's, it's a relaxing... I've been uh, been reading a book I downloaded on my Kindle. Just chilling there, just chilly willy. So, okay, cool. So we're watching the sunset here in uh, Sonoran Desert, and we got the chukas behind me. Chuka mats. And we got the Santaritas over there. And Parker Valley or Parker Canyons in the middle, and then Mexico, of course, is over there. But I'm sitting there, I got my fire going, got my Kindle, and I'm gonna have. I tried this, I looked, I watched this on YouTube, and there were two different, I want to say two different ones that they compared. And nine times, nine times out of ten, Mountain House, Adventure Mills, ended up being the best. So this has got three. Freeze dry. It's with vegetables. I have to put take a cup, a cup and a third boiling water. One and one third cups of boiling water. Close the zipper. Wait five minutes. St stir carefully. Close zipper. Wait five minutes. Stir again and reseal. Let stand for an additional four minutes. And uh, it's supposed to be like really good. It's got milk in it. Chicken. Ching ching pow wow. So, I got this idea from Dakota. It's got 17 grams of protein. Uh, not that I burned it up. I got wood today. Ended up cutting up a big tree and hauling it over. And I'm just going to stick the rear end of that in and feed it to the fire until I'm done. Ready to go to bed. Yeah, so it's that's actually two servings. So, I don't know why... Man, I, I don't know if I can eat all that. That's That's an awful lot. Two servings. Just add water, no cleanup, ready in 10 minutes. No footprint. I got my, see my garbage bag in the tree. You know, three miles from the border and people, I had guys at, in Sinoita say, man, don't you worry about those undocumented coming through? I'm like, well, I keep the keys on me. Right next to my firearm. <laughs> so they'd have to kill me to get my keys. Um, I don't know. I don't, I'm not too concerned about it. I'm enjoying this fire. No cell phone coverage. I'm enjoying no like Tucson traffic or gunshots or shit, crazy stuff like that. I don't know. I have to really figure out what it is I want and where I want to go, what my worth is. Um, everybody wants money. But I'd like to have enough money to live and enjoy what I do. Right now I'm not enjoying what I do. Uh, it's important work, but 30 years in social services and now this shit. And then I have to decide whether or not, you know, if I want to go back to Kentucky. I mean, I, they've called me twice on this job in Kentucky, so do I uproot myself and leave Dakota? Hannah's leaving in February leave my kids and go back to Kentucky I like being close to my girls 
they are super important to me. And I'm not really even sure that the money they're going to pay me is worth it. I don't I don't know. I don't know about anything anymore. I do know 